Welcome back to Sack to the Future. This is the opening night of the 1962 season. This is our third season as we started with the 1960 year. And in 1961, Sack to the Future, your Chicago Bears walked away as world champions. And now we will open, just like the Cowboys did the year before, as champions opening against the Green Bay Packers. So the Packers and Bears will square off one more time. Uh, we played three times last year. The Bears won both regular season games in order to win the division as both teams went 13-3. and three, And then went on to win in the playoff game, the divisional game, to eventually go on and win the Super Bowl. What's different this year, perhaps? Well, we have improved the level of competition that we will receive from the AI as we have uh, moved up to the All-Pro rating. So we got two years in at Pro, and now we're on to All-Pro, and we will see how different a game that makes it. The Packers run out first, and now they're waiting for the Bears, led by Billy Wade quarterback who led the league in passing last year with over 4,000 yards. There's Bill George on the sidelines getting his defense pumped up. And who else would you open up against besides the Green Bay Packers and the Bears will receive. All right. 1962 is underway. Oh, another change. The quarters are at eight minutes, not seven. It doesn't look like comments are working. Ugh. And apparently comments are not working on YouTube again, which is getting ridiculous. Out comes Billy Wade again last year. He left or led the NFL in passing yards, not passer rating. Hoping to cut down on the interceptions this year. <clears throat> See, the Bears have changed their uniforms, too. Yes, and uh, I know the comments are not working. Hopefully, you can hear. Uh, Vinny X Wolf is joining me on the broadcast. As he just pointed out, the Bears have, in addition to their helmet, the white C on the side. Here's the offensive line Herman Lee, Stan Jones, Mike Pyle, Cadill, and I missed them. Gallimore and Caceres are your backs. Morris Farrington are the receivers. And Mike Ditka is the tight end. You'll notice that last year's star receiver, Harlan Hill, is not on the team, and that is disappointing. Bob Wataska. That's right, Wataska. He's been he was he was a starter last year. Billy Wade will run for the first down. Man, I'm glad they fell for the play action because there was there was a bunch of them coming free, but it worked out. All right, first down for the Bears. Gallimore, not much there. Was that Adderley or Wood that came up and stopped him? I think it might have been Willie Wood. Here is your Packer defense. Henry Jordan in the middle. Willie Davis and Bill Quinlan on the ends. Four linebackers they're going to show you. Dan Curry, Ray Nitschke, Peter Shank, and Bill Forrester. Greminger and Wood are your safeties. Adderley and Whittington, the tight, or the corners. Of course, the uh, Packers are going to play, well, in 62 they played much more 4-3 or even 5-2 than 3-4, uh, but that's what you got to see because it is Madden 18. Right, 
Billy Wade hits Morris for the first down. Just in front of the safety there as they backed up right before the snap. Two minutes gone, six left because the quarters again are at eight minutes this year. Uh, <laughs> hard to put the move on Ray Nitschke. He wasn't falling for anything there. Tough running so far for the Bears. And uh, if you stuck around for 1961, you might remember that three different running backs went over 2,700 yards for the season. So it's one of the reasons, not the only one, but one of the reasons why the level has increased this year. Although the Bears didn't have that problem of being great running team, and Wade throws it nowhere near anyone on that one. Okay, third and ten. Now, Wade did go over 400 yards, which, or 4,000 yards, which uh, was not a thing that happened before Joe Namath either. Um, but we get extra games. We play 16, so that wasn't as um, noticeable as the three running backs getting almost 3,000 yards. There's Dick. It breaks a tackle. And gets up to the 35-yard line. 18-yard completion from Wade to Ditka there. <coughs> stick, stick skills are going to be much more important this year. Yeah, there is. Um, I'm not going to. I mean, I threw a lot of interceptions, as people know, that have watched uh, the Broncos and Bears here. Uh, but I, I got away with a lot, too. So I'm going to have to not make dumb throws. And yes, stick skills are going to be more important. And there's a there's one by Gallimore. Oh! But caught from behind. Okay. Apparently stamina might be a problem this year as... Uh, Gallimore is already red. There you see Morris is red, but he's going to stay in. Caceres is now the man in the backfield. Adams in motion. <laughs> and Ray Nitschke tries to take Caceres' head off. I wonder if Nitschke gets up for these Bears games. Just wondering. I'm sure he does, especially <laughs> after last year. Yeah. Yep, the Bears did end the Packers season last year. Funny thing so far, it's Back to the Future. The uh, In 1960, the Cowboys ended the Packers season, and then they had to open against them. Same thing happened here in 62 after I ended the Packers season last year. Oh, that's... Mm. All right. Nothing open on that one. A close up big Willie Davis. He's a scary player. Okay. <clears throat> Third and eight from the 17. I have to ID the mic more often, too. Ah! <laughs> Forrester gets there before Wade can get it out of his hands. The touchdown was coming open, but Forrester closed the play down before the ball got out of his hands. Dang it. All right, kicking should be a little bit more challenging as well. There you see... 
It disappears. Oh my god. Oh my god. It does disappear. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was <laughs> a complete shank as it was coming down faster, but not that fast. Jeez, I thought it was coming down lightning speed or something. Well, that's not the best you know, start. An update for everybody else. The uh, roster, or the league itself, is not 100% ready. As he's playing, I am updating the Raiders, which will allow the Broncos to play their game. And we have about four games that can be played right now. Bills versus Oilers. Browns will, versus the New York Titans. And the Bills Oilers will be tomorrow night, right? I think so, yeah. Well, a lot of it depends on the storm we're having. Too. Oh, okay. okay. Browns versus New York Titans. And the um, New York Giants versus the Minnesota Vikings are ready to go. Yep. Being more thorough this year. Uh, just... Oh! There's a completion, but a fumble. And Edo Bradovich, the rookie, recovers the fumble. Oh, the rookie showing up right away. That's right. Completion is at Kramer, and he gets upended, drops the ball. It'd be OB interesting to look at the teams, how they've changed, how the, the additions and subtractions. Also this year, we're going to have a ninth human-controlled team in the league. As Terror's 89 channel will be not only broadcasting the Browns and Cowboys, but also the Los Angeles Rams. And that is part of a bigger picture, which will include eventually have all three, four of us running three teams. But only yes. one in 62. Yes, indeed. As the league expands, we will expand as well. 66 will be a big year when uh, Vinny brings you the Falcons, and I'll bring you the Dolphins here. There's a nice run by Gallimore. He's going to go the distance for the touchdown. On the counter, beautiful blocking. Gallimore takes it to the house. So, the Bears capitalize on the turnover immediately and take the lead 6 nothing. So, 66, and then, uh, is it the Saints? 67. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, by 67. The New Orleans Saints. Did I shake that one too? Gosh, dang it. All right, kicking is different. <laughs> okay. That one's closer. It, it was close. By the end of the game, maybe I'll know how to kick. Uh. The entire league will be named and numbered by Super Bowl Sunday. Dressed and rated, I, I can't, that other phantom here does the ratings and the terrors does the <coughs> dressing, but um, the week one will be, as always, the longest week of the um, season as we're getting things ready. Oh yeah. Although the Terrors 89 channel may be bringing you the Browns and Jets or Titans as early as tonight. Um, but there will definitely be delay in the rest of the games as some of the teams, as Vinny had stated, are still being um, finished. There's oh, Bradovich. And oh, that was almost a touchdown. Bart Starr on the money there. So, so far, the biggest advantage the Bears have had against the Packers is that Bart Starr has never really gone off on the Bears, which is good. Um, but also, the Bears have always uh, outrun the Packers, which is probably uh, not supposed to happen. <laughs> So we'll see. We'll see how this game is this year. Right now, Bart Starr seems to be pretty accurate starting. There's Jim Taylor. Bart Starr, three for three. Yeah. 
Rosie Taylor is the one that caused the fumble. He uh, led the league in interceptions last year, so since being drafted, he has just been a turnover-forcing machine for the Bears. Rookies Roy, Rosie Taylor and Mike Ditka last year made a big difference. Now see Eddie Obradovich here this year. Then you still got the old the old guard of Pettibone and Fortunato, Bill George, Doug Atkins. Lots of talent on this Bears team, but these Packers certainly have talent as well. Looks like uh, Bart Starr is going to come out with three wide receivers here. <clears throat> oh, I don't like this. I don't. Nope. Mm. Got caught. Jim Taylor. Nice gain. Second and two now. Paul Horning comes in. And they'll fake throw it and then give it to him on the draw. And there's a Bradovich again with a nice tackle. So the rookie. Oh, here's a draft class for you. Well, had Obradovich. <laughs> right. Had Obradovich was on there, so. We get one of the main ones. That's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. oh. Another uh, draft pick. The first round draft pick, actually, that we haven't seen yet. Ronnie Bull. <coughs> the running back. But uh, Gallimore has been taking the carry so far. No. One thing hopefully we do not encounter is the uh, glitch that Brian or Fan uh, Terrors. Terrors encountered last year when he had to play the week one game twice because it didn't save. And I don't know if that's because we were editing the, the league at the time. Hmm. Yeah, so, we'll I guess we're going to find out. If, if you have to play this game twice, we won't ever do this again. Right. Yeah, we will see. This is definitely the opening game, take one, and hopefully it's the only take. Yeah. That was the end of the first quarter, by the way. So Eight-minute mm -hmm. quarters added a little bit of time to the broadcast, but we'll see how much. I also didn't really start the game. I was talking and watching the introductions and everything. So. Mm -hmm. Well, I am 20% done the Raiders. See the Packers break down there. Okay, Rosie Taylor makes something happen. Oh, God. Good coverage. And a... Oh. Sex Bart Star and comes up hurt. Well, that does get him to fourth and 29, so it should be a field goal coming up. Fifty-yard attempt. I'm not sure if the Golden Boy can do this. Did they just get me offsides? Oh, he buries it. Fifty yards away. No problem for Paul Horn. That was a nice kick. Cuts the lead in half, 6-3. to three. So the Packers certainly the better kicking team today. <laughs> and the Rams get to take on the Atlanta Falcons to start the year. <coughs> yep. Uh, 
Okay. There's Wade to Morris for the first down. And, oh, there's another rookie. McCray is the one that has an abdominal tear and will not be able to return. Gallimore gets a couple of yards, 57 yards, most of that on the one big run. <laughs> and the Packers really keeping people towards the line. There's Ditka fighting his way for the first down. Almost fought through the Willie Wood tackle. Oh, no, it was Adderley, sorry. Gallimore up the middle again. A nice broken tackle. Another first down. So the running hasn't been slowed down too much. Maybe the All-Pro won't be uh, any different. <laughs> or maybe it's only been a quarter and a half. When you go to rate the Raiders, check the practice squad. Okay. And I put somebody there because of a jersey on There's Marconi, one of the new Bears, came over from the Rams, I believe. Nice play, Willie Davis. Had the hole, but Willie Davis just made a play. Ditka's tired. That's not great. Really? <laughs> Wade hits <laughs> Farrington right in the shoulder, but he never put his hands up. So it pops up in the air, and then he's unable to catch it the second time. And now i got to try another kick. And the Bears finally make a field goal. All right. Extend the lead to nine to three. <clears throat> well, at least it only takes a couple of kicks to get used to it, but that, that first kick was terrible. No, depending on your kicker too. Yeah, I don't have Mr. All Pro Steve Myra in Baltimore anymore, so. Well, Baltimore gets to finally feel some pain. <laughs> Both my teams have brand new kickers, so. Spotlight on. I'm gonna... What's it? Currently, I'm in a holding pattern because my laptop is acting up again. Oh, 
Well, and what uh, what number are you on? Just finished 21. Okay. The Raiders, uh, a lot of brand new players on their team, 62, so it's taking a little longer. Yeah, it seems like the teams that are uh, near on the bottom of the pile take take longer because they understandably so change so many players. Well, that makes no sense. Bart stars five for five. Luckily, the uh, Bears safeties or maybe conservative defense, whatever you want to call it, is holding them from getting the big play. And that's the first incompletion knocked away by J.C. Caroline. Caroline with the deflection. Punt coming up. Got two guys who wore 21 and both played 11 games. The season's 12 games long. How'd that work? <laughs> both offensive players. The records from back then are just so incomplete. Why is Nitschke on special teams? To haunt you. <laughs> Morris was not expecting to get hit like that, but at least he held on to the ball. <laughs> Billy Wade runs up to him and tells him it's okay. Like you're still in Wrigley Field. So when you're looking at the Raiders, uh, if you notice that Dick Dorsey's wearing the wrong jersey number, that's why. Okay. Because uh, they both wore 21 and they both played the whole season, so. Neither started at all, though. Oh. Nice block shed, I guess. Blocking looked like it was there, but Greminger broke through. Third and four. Mm, really, guys. Nope. Oh. Threw it a little soft, but luckily it's just an incompletion. Now on the punts, I don't. <laughs> I'm not gonna like the fact that the uh, tracker disappears so quickly because I'm already not great at it. I wonder if it'll affect uh, you and tears at all because you guys usually can get it pinned down inside the five all the time. I don't know. Good question. Yeah. I probably won't be doing the Baltimore game or the bonus game until uh, either the weekend. Well, the bonus game, which by the way will be the Lions and Eagles, um, it'll be a little while because I'm rating our opponent or rating. I'm naming and numbering our opponents first. Right. Yeah. They're not even. Neither one of those two teams are done yet. No. So that's the two-minute warning. Nine to three Bears. Another tight game. So even though in Sack to the Future, the Bears are 5-0 and against the Packers. But four, no, three of those games were one-score games. The other two, I think I won by ten points. So they haven't been blowouts. 
but the Bears so far have always managed to win. But in 1962, real life, the Packers are your NFL champions, so don't expect them to go away easily. Kramer with his third reception, but only a four-yard gain. Start with the oh, here comes the hurry up. Should have known that was coming. Was <coughs> Dowler on that catch? Oh, oh, come on, nice catch. Thought they had it defended, but Max McGee. It's a brilliant catch. Mm. Did not need that kind of a catch. All right. Final minute. Got to stop this drive here. And Bart Starr, I don't know. I think the running back may have fallen down on the screen pass. Starr had nowhere to go with it, just had to eat it. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And that's a nice tackle by Bill George that keeps him short of a first down. And so the Golden Boy made it from 50, and now he's going to try it from 54. He's got money on the game. figure he might miss this and give me a good field position so oh hey Ryan uh, I just turned on the YouTube because of course I can't see the comments on the screen but uh, yeah this is 1962 opening night obviously from what you see at the bottom of the screen there and did he make another one my God, Paul Horning needs to knock it off. That's his second 50-plus yard field goal, and it's now <clears throat> nine to six. Yeah, we've been—it's uh, been a couple of weeks because. Well, first of all, I did put a best era football game out there, so I'm not sure why you didn't get that notification. Uh, that was probably a week ago, but for Sack to the Future, yeah, we've been busy getting the teams ready. They're still not completely ready. Um, but we have enough ready to get the season started. Um, earlier, Vinny went through the four games that are eligible to be played now. And as we speak, or as I play this, uh, Vinny's actually working on the Raiders. Once the Raiders are complete and ready, then the Broncos can play that one. So it might, uh, it might be a couple weeks to get through week one, but then we'll start rolling again. <clears throat> Bills and Oilers should be tomorrow. The Browns and New York Titans maybe tonight. The Giants and Vikings not sure when, but those are the four, the three other games that are ready to go. Oh my God, get out of there! All right, just forget it. Bill Forrester comes in and takes down Billy Wade. The Packers had 
ridiculously great coverage on that play. So, no reason to get hurt. Let's just go to the locker room. Nine to six. It's your halftime score. The champions on top. The Sack to the Future champions on top of the NFL real life champions. Nine to six. So the running game hasn't, uh, the Packers haven't tried enough for me to know if they're any better at it. I've still been able to run pretty well. And I was never one of the ones that was running amazing, so we'll have to see when uh, some of the other guys play how they think about it. But the Packers' coverage is pretty tight. The coverage has been tighter, that is for sure. And the kicking, of course. The kicking has been a lot harder for me, but I was never. I was probably the worst kicker out of the group to start with. So, In fact, I know for sure I was the worst kicker. <laughs> so it probably will not bother you guys as much. Jim Taylor, 22 yards on seven carries. Oh, gosh. There was a big opening there. Luckily, uh, Williams was able to come off of his block and shut it down. Rosie Taylor came up to get in the way as well. It's the rookie Edo Bradovich. And up to Taylor. Yeah, fumble recovery. And a uh, tackle for a loss. Yeah, the Bears are, well, both these teams are really entering, uh, well, the Packers, I guess, are continuing. The Bears are starting to enter a great time of loading up on talent as Atkins and George can still play, and they are starting to bring in Ditka, Taylor, Obradovich. Soon will be Butkus and Gale Sayers. So Paul Horning has been terrible as a runner, three carries, negative three yards, but amazing as a kicker with two 50-plus yard field goals. Well, the Bears just kept pushing him wide, pushing him wide, and then Pettibone held his ground. Good team defense there. Pettibone is red now, though. And another coverage sack. Doug Atkins, the beneficiary of that one. Both teams have had a couple plays where the coverage has been unbelievable. Morris is aware that Nitschke's out on special teams, so he covers up with two hands. 
but it's the center Ringo that makes the uh, tackle. I don't think they ever showed the Packers offense or the Bears defense. I can't say I was paying attention enough to notice. Yeah, it's odd. Okay, five minutes to go in the third quarter, still a three-point game. <clears throat> There's a nice throw by Wade to Morris. Wade, six of 11. No, he dropped the ball. Ah, that's where you miss Harlan Hill. Harlan Hill, his last play as a Bear was a diving touchdown reception in the Super Bowl. Look at that. That is not anything hard to do. All he's got to do is hold on to the ball, but he does not. Well, part of it, uh, you can draft well, but sometimes you lose players as well. Yep. And there's a completion of Gallimore out of the backfield for the first down. Whew. Okay. Willie Wood with his third tackle of the game. So how does the game feel? Uh, it feels... I don't know if it's... I don't know that it's necessarily harder. It's tighter, though. Uh, meaning like I can't get, I had the big run, but I don't get these big plays. Like it's more of a drive rather than just one, two, three touchdown. Or not that that happened all the time with me, but I don't feel like I could just do like this play and then that leads to that play and it's a big play. But it doesn't, it certainly doesn't feel like overwhelmingly hard or anything. And I have been uh, conservative with my passing. Um, so we'll see when I drop my guard. If, you know, when I really try to challenge the corners, we'll see if I get picked off or what. Right now I'm just throwing to the guys that get open. As you've probably seen me take a couple sacks and run with the ball once just so I don't throw passes that don't need to be thrown. Oh, God! Pretty sure that was Nitschke that just killed Caceres. Luckily, the Bears recovered it. Yep, he run. Oh, my God, Nitschke. <laughs> oh, Caceres turns around and Nitschke blasts him. Oh, fool your ass. <laughs> oh, Ray Nitschke. Wow. All right. Not sure Caceres wants the ball right now. <clears throat> Ditka, oh, stiff arm pulled off by Ditka on Wood. Wood is 24, right? Yeah. Yes. There's a nice throw, and then it comes Wood. Nice stiff arm by Ditka. You get the first down. Maybe that's what I was trying to say, uh, that they close. They close faster. Just just a little bit, not an extreme difference. And obviously hit harder. <laughs> or they just hate Caceres. <laughs> Oh, 
short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Gallimore's back, and that's probably a good thing. It'll be interesting to see when. I was gonna say it's gonna be interesting to see uh, John M play, because I, I play, well, like even last year I think the Bears had the number one defense, and so um, I usually play a more defensive game. It feels like a defensive game, but it, that could be the way I play. Whereas John's kind of the opposite of me, so we'll see if his games feel tighter or if they're still you know <laughs> wide open at both ends oh that was amazing it looked like it was going to be contested but then uh, Adderley just I don't know what he did he freaked out he was surprised they caught it or something look he just stops we'll take that Regardless of what level you play on, the Packers still have a couple superstars. There you just saw Willie Davis. Sometimes the call doesn't matter when someone's just that talented. Yeah. All out run defense, huh? And. A sack by Willie Davis. All right. So Davis has decided to take the game over. That was another instance where I controlled myself not throwing an interception. But I think I'm going to take more sacks this year. Oh, there. Oh, thank goodness. I threw it behind him, but Morris makes a catch. <laughs> and then a continuation of the play as the Packer guy really wanted to tackle him. <laughs> Throw it behind him. Nice catch, Morris. Bad throw, Wade. Ugh. Almost disaster. Look at <laughs> uh, Mr. Whittington. And right down the middle. Look at that. The Bears have learned how to kick, maybe. Okay. Adderley brings it up to the 26-yard line. Uh, both teams using starter, uh, s defensive starters on their special teams. Been an Pro hour so far, I'm in jersey number 35. Wow. <laughs> There's Jimmy Taylor stuffed by Bill George. Taylor's been a little bit better. Nothing to write home about, but like I said uh, last year, I know I could call run blitzes and almost always tackle him behind the line. At least this time he gets about two or three yards. There's a disgusting helmet for all to see. So what league or, or what year? I know it's forever away, but what year do you take over as the Packers? <laughs> I, I don't know if we were going to. Well, I guess, okay. Um, <laughs> part of our each doing three teams is uh, a couple of us are going to do sort of a random run through the league. Um, I'm going to remain as the Baltimore Colts 
until they pack up the Mayflower and trucks and move out in the middle of the night. At which time in 1984, I will move a little further north of Indianapolis and go to Green Bay and control the Packers. I will let uh, Tears describe his because he's got a really oh. confusing. Um, trip around the NFC <laughs> yeah, West does. a little bit with the AFC too because there's a couple years where the Browns are out of service. John M. will be the Tennessee or Houston Oilers, Tennessee Oilers until 2001 and then he'll become the Houston Texans. So it's a little simpler there. He will be the New Orleans Saints for the first from 67 to 75 and then he's going to take over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 76. Whereas you don't make any changes. Nope, I have the simplest, which is Broncos and the Bears, and then in 66, when the Dolphins come into the league, I'll be the Dolphins. Nice and simple. <laughs> kind of like my game plan. Oh, Padavone almost had the pick six. But at least he knocked it down. Okay, guys. Third and six. Big play here. <coughs> Bart Starr throws it away before getting sacked. Fourth and six coming up. Of course, Paul Horning will come out to try to get more points. This is by far his easiest attempt of the day. And it's right down the middle. And they remind you that his first two field goals were over 50 yards. Okay, 6.35 to go. Bears up by one touchdown. It's definitely still a contested game. There's a look at Willie Gallimore. He started on fire. Hasn't done much lately. Total yards, 225 to 166. Nobody gets open, and Quinlan gets the sack. That's the fourth sack by the Packers. <coughs> well, I know some of us have good backup quarterbacks like the uh, Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> I hope that Billy Wade can survive a season if I keep letting him take all these sacks. Well, Rudy Bukic played quite a bit for Pittsburgh last year. Oh, that's right. That's right. Brown's gone. Bukic is in. He's not bad. Gallimore breaks one tackle, but not going to be able to make enough moves to get the first down. The Bears will punt. Okay, Packers take over at the 29. Bears are going to have to continue to win this game with defense, I think. <coughs> Which is nothing new for the Bears, but it scares me for the Broncos. 
come on. Unbelievable blocking by the Packers offensive line on that play. And then a diving catch. All right. So maybe the game is the same until the fourth quarter. <laughs> I mean, they do have a fantastic offensive line, so it's kind of hard to judge the whole league by the Packers. But <sighs> and then that's my fault for not covering the guy. Okay, come on, Bears. Packers driving right down the field. Bart Starr, I called him out earlier, and he's having a great game. Four fifteen to go. Packers inside the red zone. Uh oh, Jim Taylor breaks a tackle. Forty percent done. Another coverage check by the Bears. Ed Obradovich with a sack and a fumble recovery in his first game as a Bear. Way to start a career. Oh, with three and a half minutes to go, the Packers are lining up to kick the field goal. Down by seven. Watch the fake here. They got all three timeouts, though, too. They do. Maybe Paul Horning is just a point hog. 12 points for Horning, but 16 for the Bears. Okay, I'm going to have to get some first downs. What's it? He wants to lead the league in points. Yeah, well, I think he's capable of doing that. Hmm. 3.14 to go. We need a couple first downs here, guys. Total yards, 227 to 222. So it definitely does feel like a tighter game. To Farrington, he breaks one tackle and gets close. Yes, he did get the first down. Okay. And that is the two minute warning. Packers have all three timeouts. Bears need another first down. Jordan shuts down that run. Timeout, Packers. <clears throat> Second and nine. Nitschke and two other Packers. Make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Timeout Packers. Okay. Okay. 
50%. Four for eight. This is third and ten. Dang it! Push the square button, but apparently not fast enough. Packers get their fifth sack. Five sacks. Well, the Bears will have to punt. The way they're uh, getting sacks, there's no way I can play on fourth down there. Dang it. Not the best punt coverage either. Packers have it at the 39. The only good news is they have no timeouts, but they have 100 seconds to get 61 yards. Bart Starr has been pretty accurate today. We're going to need to come up with something. I don't think that uh, Bart Starr is throwing an interception, so it's a good time for Rosie Taylor or somebody to get one. <clears throat> there we go. Good coverage by the Bears. Bart Starr, 16 of 20. Second and ten. Looking deep and knocked away. He went deep for McGee. Nicely knocked away, though. And the blitz gets through. And that, it's fourth and 17. This is the game right here. One more stop, guys. And it's intercepted. Good job, Bears. And it's going to be returned for a pick six. Why did they rush? Why didn't they huddle up? And over a minute to go. Yeah, I'm not sure what, uh, what that was all about. So one thing is definitely true no matter what level we play on. If you win the turnover battle, <laughs> probably win the game. Nope. Bart Starr, 16 of 22, 222 yards, but a pick six on his last throw. That should do it. Now it's just garbage time. Now they go with the hurry up again. This time it makes more sense. Oh, he's going to spike it, I think. All right. Third and five. Bears up by 11 pretty comfortably. Feeling like they're going to start the 1962 campaign with a win. Bart Starr throws another interception. And that's Paul Horning runs down Rosie Taylor. But that'll do it. 23 to 12. 
three turnovers to zero. The game looks... Why can't I find the kneel? There it is. Oh, special teams. Yeah. I was in special teams, but yeah, I like couldn't find it. Um, the Bears are going to go to 6-0 and against the Packers here in Sack to the Future. And I'm going to keep saying that because, obviously, I can't stand the Packers, so it's a good feeling. Nitschke is probably going to pay me back sooner or later, though. But the Bears start their defense of their Super Bowl championship with a 23-12 to win over the Packers. Uh, again, we may have on the Terrors 89 channel, uh, we may be getting the Browns and Jets or Titans, the New York Titans tonight. Um, if not, I'm sure that'll be sometime over the weekend. And tomorrow, depending on real-life weather, Tomorrow we should get the uh, Bills and Oilers. Um, other games will be coming throughout the next two <coughs> weeks. It will probably take a couple weeks to get through this week one. But we have started 62. The first game goes to the Bears, 23-12. to Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good night.